that late summer and early fall isn't just about sweater weather. It's also squash season. So here with everything we need to know is Frankie Flowers. He's in the house, in the yeah. studio. Hardest working man in showbiz, I tell you. Some days. <laughs> Gord to see you. Oh, are you gorgeous? Yes, oh, you are gorgeous. It. We could do this all day. Oh, yeah. Let's squash that right now. <laughs> Different yeah. varieties and you know flavors, sizes, all the things when it comes to squash. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about squash. So first, let's dive into the difference between summer squash and what mm -hmm. are typically known, even the spaghetti here, as a winter squash. So okay. the difference between the two, do you know? I have no idea. One's beige and one's green. <laughs> I don't know. So your summer squash, which is typically things like your zucchini, even cucumbers. This is cool. This is a white cucumber that oh. grew in my garden because it was in shade. And because oh. it was in shade, it didn't turn green. It actually turned white. Does but, it taste the same? Uh, it tastes the same. Oh, really kind of so cool, cool, too. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, really a cucumber is a variety of squash and then zucchini. So we can eat the skin. Yeah. We can, they're easy to cut. You know, you can go through and just... Go, I gotta get my is that easy me. to oh, cut? Oh yeah, this one here is easy to cut. It's you a monster. Right like that. So you were okay. asking me, me about size too with zucchini as well. Yeah. You know, the larger size that they get into, they're a little bit more tougher to cut. Yeah. Uh, but the smaller the size, they're more tender and more fruitful and more just tastier for you to eat. Uh, yeah. Winter squash. The reason okay. why they're called winter squash. Yeah. Any idea? Look at how I could just put that back together. I don't know. They like winter more than summer. Uh, they can store during the winter. So they're really okay. long lasting. So examples of winter squash, of course, your spaghetti squash, which doesn't taste like spaghetti. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. I went through a phase where I was eating a lot of spaghetti squash. I'm kind of over it now. Yeah, when you cook spaghetti squash, we take the seeds out and we'll cook it down. Yeah. This will strip out just like spaghetti noodles. Right. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, you, so. you take them out and it's supposed to be, oh, look, it's just like pasta. It's not like pasta. <laughs> no, it's not like like zucchini pasta too. Is it's you not know, pasta. I'm actually okay with the zucchini pasta. Are you? No, the, the squat, the spaghetti squash now. Okay, another okay. example right of a winter squash are the acorn squash, mm -hmm. which we I love super those. super love. And then you have your butternut squash too, is another yes. example. Uh, if you're growing them and you're wondering, are they ready? Are they How ready? Do you know? So as soon as you go and try to take your fingernail there and try to pierce that okay. with your fingernail. I can't. I can right. barely. Yeah. So that's usually when they're ready is when they're tough. The outer side oh, is tough. you want them to be tough. You okay. want them to be tough. You yeah. also know that there's a little bit of dye back on some of the stems and foliage that are there. Yeah. You'll always see that many winter squash will always have their stems left on the top. Right? Yep. That'll actually make them last a little bit longer. Okay. If we're storing them, we want to store them in an area that's going to be dark and really room temperature just below room temperature okay. and they'll last. We can make these decorations just yeah. like the gourds. Gourds are not edible. That's the difference between a gourd and a... And a squash. Yeah, look squash. at this gourd, right? It like, looks like an octopus. Do you believe in aliens? Look at this. Like, yeah. it's so gross. I love it. But yeah. that's, that's why, you know, people love these for decorations and stuff. They look all warty and amazing. They, and they're really just that harvest kind of basket. And they're, they're funky. They're fun. Yeah. You know, we can hollow some of these gross. out and make them into bird feeders and or bird houses. Oh, cute. So there's many different things that you can do. And then this is just another example of a different type of squash that's out there. Very but cute. really with pie pumpkins as well. A pie pumpkin is just a smaller pumpkin. Yeah. But the reason why a pie pumpkin is different from others when you see them, you can see there's just a little bit more flesh that we have on that pie pumpkin that's there. So in order to make pies, they're a lot better for you to do that. Uh, okay, those, now, those are better for pies. Oh yeah, way better for pies than the bigger uh, squat, the bigger pumpkins. Forgive me, that can be either orange and or white. Yeah. These guys here really don't have the same kind of fleshiness that you want for that beautiful pie pumpkins that's out there as well. Okay. So I want to give you a really good tip. A really okay. good tip is is me. that I love squash. Like mm -hmm. you, you're kind of we're talking about this, and you're like, eh. right? Listen, I can I can love them or leave them with the squash, but you are like you are a lover of vegetables. Yes. And are these vegetables, by the way? Uh, yes, indeed, they're not. They're not. <laughs> yes, indeed, they are not Choose. vegetables. So anything, so all squash, how they grow, mm -hmm. they bloom. Yeah. There's a male and female flower. Okay. And they go, hey, how you doing? <laughs> then what happens is they form that fruit. So anything that actually a has fruit. a flower with a seed in it is yes. a fruit. So Do, Did you zucchini. know that it's fruit? Oh, well, you in the front did, smarty. Yeah. She's like, absolutely, I knew it was, I did know it was fruit. I didn't know that. So yeah. I, I would not include this in the list of fruits. But anyways, you love your fruits and you love your vegetables. So you have been friends with squash for some time. Me and squash were just like it's so tight. tight. Yeah. 
does. So the key about squash is if you ever cut like acorn squash and you go to cut them, they're yeah. really, like we were just showing you with your fingernail, they're really tough. kind of tough. And sometimes with that knife, you're just like, yeah. right? Like super tough that's there. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can go and you can either take a fork or a knife and first you want to pierce them. Yeah. And then you're going to put it in a microwave for about three to four minutes. Okay. The reason why we're piercing is so that it can allow some of the air to get out and some of the moisture to get out. Yeah. If not, it will explode. Okay. <laughs> so and when it's out after four minutes, feel, it's going to be a feel. little. Now, oh, it's so now hot. You should put your nail. Put your yeah. nail now. Like here, we'll show it right there. Put your nail. Trying to ruin my nails? No. Nope. Oh, it goes all the way in. See? See? That's terrible for me. Yeah. <laughs> now you know that's going to yeah. be really easy. So to cut this, just to be safe, we always want to just cut a little bit off the bottom. That'll yeah. make that nice and flat. Yes. And we'll go one oh, on that's each so side, just like this. You. Yes. Really quick, just like this. Uh huh. And then there you go. See how quick that was? That was way okay. easier. Very nice.